Hello. Um, why am I doing this? I've absolutely got no idea. I went out last night, I got rather drunk, I've got a hangover, I can't sleep, and I looked at YouTube and figured out that I wouldn't mind putting a, I don't know, a little video up showing something in Maya. I mean, I had a look on the videos, and the one thing that I couldn't find was anything on Mel. So, just a quick intro to Mel. What is Mel? Maya embedded language. But what is it really? Well, what I shall do is I'll just get the Mel window, or the script editor over here. And we have two, uh, two areas. We've got history and input. Or what do they call them? History and... Uh, yeah, history and input. Wow, that was a good guess, considering I've only been using Maya since version 1. Um, I'm also, obviously for typing here, uh, resolution on YouTube is going to be a bit crap, but we can zoom in, and I can show you how to zoom in, which is just control and mouse scroll wheel if you've got it. Um, every single time I do anything in Maya, uh, such as, I don't know, create a cube, a command is carried out. It's a mel command, and if we just have a look at what it takes to create a cube, it's this. And let's just have a look at the anatomy or makeup of uh, this command. That's a command itself. Um, it's a command itself. It, uh, it's basically uh, it carries out creation of a cube. Um, something to uh, something to take into consideration is the capitalization of the second word. Uh, ninety eight percent of the time that's the case with commands if they consist of two words. Um, then in commands we've also got flags so this command can actually operate in different ways and we can pass information to it and flags can have values. So here we've got width 1, height 1. Uh, we've got depth 1. We've got scale x, scale y, scale z. We've got what axis and this uh, this little axis flag takes multiple uh, multiple inputs, multiple values, so x, y, z. And obviously where we've got y up in Maya. So uh, little ones there. CUV, what's this mean? Create UV, method for whatever that is. I really can't remember. And keep construction history. Um, and then this very important, this signifies the end of a line. Now it doesn't matter if I carry out a command over multiple lines, Maya will read them as one until it gets to this semicolon. So I could just go ahead and I'm executing it by pressing Control A to select it all and then numerical enter which keeps it on screen whereas if I just press normal enter it carries it out but then buggers off which is not what I want um, and what that command's been doing is just creating loads and loads of cubes which is amazing um, something, uh, something that I want to do just as a little exercise to introduce us to a few things is create a little script that just takes loads of cubes and places them randomly in a 3D area, let's say. Uh, but it's very important because Mel can speed up your work, it can take out tedious repetitive tasks, and I've used it for many things such as I wrote a little pelt mapping script for myself so that I don't have to do much UV unwrapping on rigid or organic surfaces. I wrote a walking script uh, whereby I just wanted to have a bee or some kind of insect and just move its body and its legs automatically walk along a surface. Uh, I've done really tedious things in it as well like asset management systems. Uh, but yeah, next uh, next video will get underway because YouTube's got this silly little limit and I'm going to start breaking this up.